The central desert is an exquisite and unusual landscape, a huge playground, a canvas ready to go. It's like something found at the end of a dream. It's not just about the landscape, it's about being in it and seeing it and painting it. The legacy of the Hermansburg watercolour artists lives on in this Aranta country, the home of Albert Namajira. His studio was this landscape. The hills he painted are all around. Albert Namajira's nephew, the late Wenton Rabuncha, taught me to see the contours of the land with story references. He said, these rocks we've got to worship. He pointed to little rocks and big rocks and told us their names and stories. We have to sing and paint these places, he said. In my mind, these paintings I make are never simply landscapes of captivating sights, but portraits of places. Settling down under a tree on the soft red sand, spreading the paints out and making marks on paper is just about as good as it gets. The trees writhe and dance and the bushes emerge in a sea of blue and yellow and purple flowers. At dawn, the shadows are long and describe all the shapes. In the afternoon, as the sun slips down, an afterglow floods the bush. The near horizon of small hills is tinged now with pink and orange. The land is like poetry. We learn a landscape not just by knowing the name or identity of everything in it, but by watching the relationships of all that occurs in it, like that between the lizard and the rock. Painting is simultaneously an art of thinking and of observing through the sculptural form of the landscape. And putting in the hard yards, this is a very good place for that,